Okay, what we have here is the business end of a soldering iron. Mine stopped working. It wasn't heating. So I checked the wiring to make sure it wasn't broken. And the wiring was okay. And I opened up the soldering iron and I found out the heating element it's actually a very thin wire. This broke off the clip over here. So it wasn't heating. So what I did was I just reattached. I pushed the wire underneath the clip here and I plug it back in and it started working again so just when you're doing this just make sure the wires when you wind them because after uh, it broke off the clip here it got loose so when you rewind them make sure they don't overlap and it should be okay I plugged it back in it, it started working again so it could have just the heating element broke off here maybe due to the heat and I just un unwound a few of the coils so maybe here it won't be as hot as before this is a 40 watts so maybe you'll lose a couple of watts of uh, heating power but hopefully it should be working again so I'm gonna Snip off the tiny piece of wire here. This is the heating element. And I'm going to push this part here back into the soldering iron. So it should work again. If you overlap it, it might overheat. This whole thing is like this. It goes back into the soldering iron and I'm going to put the tip back in so I make sure this part doesn't move otherwise it, the resistive wires might come loose and then uh, the repair won't work. So to check the heating element, you loosen these screws here, take the tip out, and this part here pushes, you can push this part out, this part here, and then it exposes the heating element. So this is how it looks like, and when you push this, this part comes out. So after you finish repairing it you can pull the wire here and pull the unit back into the handle here just make sure the wires are separated otherwise when you plug it in you're gonna have a short and then that wouldn't be good separates the two wires you can pull on this end and the whole thing retracts back into the handle of the soldering iron. The business end back in the handle. three screws here. I think I'm good to go. I like this tip. It's pointed and I can use it on my project now and I'm soldering hundreds of these LED lights. So this is what I'm making next. This is a 8x8 cube. So that's, that's why there are many, many LEDs to solder. And I think the reason the wire 
over here came loose is because I keep pulling this thing out of this stand here. So there's a lot of vibration and I keep doing that after a while the wire, resistive wire and they got loose and uh, stopped working. Hope it will stay hot so I can finish my project here. Alright, thanks for watching.